Doesn't matter, darling. Can you believe that someone stole our stool to get in the van? We've had that little green spotty fold-up stool for, well, since Germany, for months and months and months, and we've always left it outside. They left my shoes, though, my van shoes. Thank God for that, eh? Oh, Gosh. <laughs> so these were on top of the stool, and the stool was pushed like a metre under the van. The shoes are there. The stool is gone. They're like, nah, dad, I don't want those sweaty shoes that someone's been wearing. I'll have the stool, though. The stool was like, I mean, it was just a plastic stool. It was filthy from the van build and everything. It had scratches all over it. I mean, obviously, they need it more than we do, right? So it's fine. We'll get another one. But it's just a bit sort of odd that someone would take the stool from underneath the van. Problem is, how are you going to get in the van now? Run and jump. Here we go, darling. Come on. So yeah, um, I think we're going to have to put a camera underneath the van now. <laughs> We've got um, cameras in the van. To we keep just an need them everywhere. <laughs> One underneath the van, keeping on Charlie as well when he's under there. Yeah. So today is 23 degrees, much, much better much than yesterday. Better. We came down here yesterday to get on with some jobs and start the vlog and everything, but it was so hot. It was 35 degrees here in the village yesterday. I mean, we're just not ready for those kind of temperatures. It is still May. Summer is well and truly here. All the fields have turned yellow and it's starting to get hot. Hopefully we will be getting the paperwork soon. And... Oh, this week we really, really are hoping to hear from the paperwork um, company that's creating the project for us this week. And we really, really hope that we will be kind of done and dusted and legal very, very soon. I bet you guys are getting fed up of us saying this. <laughs> I'm sure I've said so many times. It's the last week, the last day. We're almost there. Back on the road tomorrow. We're moving in. <laughs> <laughs> How many times have we moved in? <laughs> and here we are. Here we are still waiting. After how many months ago was it that we actually collected the van from Germany? Was it about seven months ago? August, I think we picked it up. Yeah. But you know what, saying that, we have had a nice kind of time down here. It's been nice to spend a prolonged period of time in the village, you know, and escape in the winter, if you like, because yes. it is nice and mild down here all winter. But we are ready to leave now. Yeah, Definitely ready to leave now. When it gets to, to 30 now. plus degrees every time, every day. Anyway, enough chit chat. We've got a few things we need to, a, a small list of things that need to be done. Well, don't need to be done, but we want to get done before we sort of head off. Bit hesitant because maybe the temperature wasn't quite right for him. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, so if we can create, we've got loads, we've got a second roll as well. And then what we can do is we can just Velcro them in the middle. Uh, I think it'll be quite an easy thing. We do made a little some... stitch job like you did on Vinny. Yeah, we did really good ones for Vince and it was really easy to do. Basically, we just got the net in and then we put like material folded over around the net in and got the sewing machine out. Boom, it was a really quick, easy job. So I'm going to just do the same for the back doors. She says we. It's we... all Sarah. It's all Sarah this one. <laughs> it on the sewing machine. Can you just picture it? Is this not the right stuff? And then for the side door, we've um, we've actually bought one. We've got like a shop bought um, kind of net with a door. We just need to figure out how to put it up properly. And of course, for everything else, there's mosquito nets, isn't there? Apart well, from the, the front. The front windows, no. We could make little ones for the front windows. Because yeah. we did that for Vinny and they worked out really well too. What do you think of the fake plants? We actually think they look quite cool. I really like it. I yeah. think these are quite fairly realistic. There's one we, over there by the door as well. I've never been sure with plastic plants, to be honest with you. But I think once they're in the right positions and everything, they'll look quite good because it's impossible to grow plants in vans, isn't it? Tried it. We've tried work. it. I mean, we'll probably try it again. But generally, they don't get enough. Is it they don't get enough oxygen or light? I don't know. They struggle. They do struggle. I'm thinking little bits of like ivy. Around those top beams, yeah, uh, yeah, a little bit, just just a little bit. We've got loads at home, so we can play around with what they look like. Right, what are we doing then? Shelves or lizards like that one? Yes, so we did get one job done yesterday, and that was it. It took us about two hours to decide where to put. <laughs> Final answer. Are you sure? Never. <laughs> are you sure, darling? I don't want you saying I want it that side. 
I know what you like. Definitely this side, because he's crawling down, isn't he? He's crawling down. <laughs> Decided to put it in this bit, just in case it goes wrong, we can fairly easily replace this panel. Don't you think we're going to replace the whole panel if this goes wrong? Got a couple more of those, but we've also, we also want to kind of paint. We went to put them up Yes, I said, well, I want to paint that before I put that up. Some places need another coat of paint. I mean, look at that. That's like yellow. Can't actually tell on camera, but it is yellow. It only had one coat of paint. We got sick of painting, didn't we? Yeah, I really want to give this a second coat as well. Um, so yeah, just, we may as well just do these little things while we're waiting, you know, and then at least when we're all legal, we're just ready to go go and obviously there's all the little things that we talked about in last week's video the sort of moving in vlog that um weren't quite right we need to make some adjustments um on these big cushions and stuff for the bed so it's a little bit easier to put it put it up and down and things like that so I think that's a good place for the old uh, Max Van remote, so you can reach it from bed and whatnot. That's what you want, isn't it? Yeah. This takes the time, doesn't it? The decision making. Right, what about there, darling? Yeah, fills up that space. Yeah, it kind of blocks the grey off a bit, and that'll be a really handy little basket, and then obviously, yeah. Are we going to attach that then? Well, I don't know, it's either self-tap it straight through and then, um, or maybe bolts actually, go yeah. behind, oh, that's my phone. So that was the vet. Uh, Charlie's got an appointment with the vet to have some of his teeth out and cleaned. He had an appointment for later on, but she's just phoned to and say, said, can you come now? <laughs> <laughs> we're like, um, okay. So it's, we're not, we're not really looking forward to this because Charlie's had his teeth cleaned before. It's just not very nice. He needs to have them done. His plaque has got quite bad, even though I clean their teeth every day. It's very handy having little Vinny to drive around these tiny little villages. He did well on that little hill, didn't he? No. <laughs> it's alright, Vinny's a little trooper, isn't he? Little hills he's fine with, it's just long... Steep ones. Mm. Right, you ready Charlie? I'll see you in a bit. He's sleeping. So, all ready for his teeth cleaned. He's actually snoring when I left. <laughs> so obviously, you know, knocking him out worked quite quickly. I had a quick sniff around and he was starting to get all wobbly and then he was just snoring. <laughs> so anyway, she says she's going to call me as soon as he starts to wake up. Yes, right. I've been doing some painting, haven't I? Have you? I don't believe him. Have you filmed it? Because I want proof. So I just said to Nick, when we when we actually leave, he'll be taking his little sanding machine with him and any little parts that we're not like totally happy with, he can just like take it off and sand it again and redo it. Like this door, for example, you can kind of see the, like the brush strokes, like it's not perfect. It doesn't matter, like it's absolutely fine. But you know, one maybe afternoon when Nick's, you know, fed up of getting all of the epic drone shots or we don't fancy going for a hike through the mountains, he can unbolt this door because everything's bolted on so it's easy to unbolt and change and things. And he can just sand that down and make it look, you know, really perfect and pretty. Can't you? Van build will never be finished. Never ever. So many people said to us, you'll never finish that build. You're always tweaking, moving things around and, you know, making little improvements. And that's the beauty of it, isn't it? I mean, we used to do that in little old Vinster, to be fair, anyways. And, and Vinny's, and, you know, not a self-build, is he? He's kind of like factory, but we were always tweaking things, weren't we? making little new shelves and coming up with little ideas how to make it slightly better. Make things work for yourself, don't you? Exactly. 
So we mentioned we had a little um, issue with our overheads. It's not a major issue, but the, the magnets we've used, they're just not really strong. Like it closes and stays closed, but when you drive, a couple of them do just like open a little bit. I did get these little, I mean, they didn't cost much at all. They're little latches like this, and they actually look quite nice. They're actually latches for a, a jewellery box. And I thought that looked quite cute. But it's very fiddly isn't it and then nick pointed out if that doesn't stay like solid and it goes like floppy for some reason Loose. if that doesn't if that doesn't stay <laughs> stiff and it goes floppy <laughs> how else can i explain that just come in here to get something from little old vinster and then there's just all these jobs that need doing so you just get lost doing something completely different to what you were doing before. You've got a van, you know what it's like. There's always something to do. You've got two vans, it's like double that. And then you add a 200 year old little village house on top of that, and it's just endless little jobs. The last sort of week, we've been concentrating on the house because it's been neglected. That's why we're on a mission, because we would it would be very nice to go away and obviously have all the vans sorted and our house completely sorted. Um, ready for the next big adventure, just getting everything done. I mean, we may as well, while we're waiting. Coffee time! Oh yes, baby! Grab both of them, darling. Exactly. Thank you. Exactly! What are you doing up here? Making a mess as usual? What I wanted. Ow! Um, yes, irrigation system is underway. So we've basically had all of this irrigation stuff for, oh, for years and years and it's been in a big plastic box and we thought you know we're gonna um, attempt to kind of set it up so when our caretaker our friend who looks after the house um, comes around and looks after the house she doesn't have to do so much watering so it'll already be on an irrigation system she can just check on it and things like that and the plants and the garden will stay lovely and fresh and green and that's the plan anyway anyway guys welcome to the roof terrace I haven't shown it to you for a while. We have been doing some work up here. We've got a nice little shade up there to help protect us and the little doggies from the sun. Um, yeah, it's a bit early in the morning for irrigation talk, I think. Here I don't... you go. Oh, thanks, darling. <laughs> Quick update on Charlie. He's doing okay now. Yesterday was a different story, but he's all right. He's got some nice pearly whites. He had a nice clean couple of teeth out. But um, anyway, before we continue, I just wanted to take the next minute to thank today's sponsor of the video. Now don't switch off, don't skip, because we're giving three lucky winners the chance to win a sticker pack and a mystery prize. Um, and all you have to do is tell us how many times we say NordVPN in the next minute. So that's NordVPN, starting from now. Actually including those two times I've just said NordVPN. So thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video. If you've never heard of NordVPN, where have you been? We've been working with them for the last four years. And in our opinion, NordVPN is the best VPN on the market. If you don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. And there's many reasons to get one of these. Two main ones. Firstly, it adds an extra layer of security to your device or devices when you're accessing the internet. It hides your IP address or allows you to choose an IP address from anywhere in the world so this helps prevent hackers and snoopers because they get around they could be anywhere from stealing your information and accessing your details another great reason to get a VPN is the fact that it extends your viewing library or your viewing capabilities it allows you to access content from anywhere in the world wherever you are in the world so it's great if you're traveling around in a van it means us living out here in Spain we can access all our favorite TV shows in the UK if you're Instead of signing up to NordVPN, click the link in the description. As usual, NordVPN are offering a fantastic deal on a two-year plan. Plus, they're giving additional months of free. And there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So there's no risk involved. That is the minute up. So if you can guess how many times I've said... Including those times... In the comments below, first three people 
win a sticker pack and a mystery prize. That's NordVPN over and out. There we go. All sorted, ready to irrigate the whole garden. Hate that job. And Nick hates it, but you need to decide where all the pots are going to be before you kind of put all of the cables around and attach it to the, the water and system thingy majigging. So, yes. One of the last jobs of the house, I think. So over the last sort of week and a half, two weeks, we've been really like getting on with the house jobs, as we mentioned. We've actually painted the whole house white on the outside and on the inside on this terrace, um, which is obviously quite a big job. You know, you have to get on the ladder, all that kind of thing. And then also Nick was doing all of the black paint on all of the railings as well. I can't remember the last time we've painted the whole house. Yeah. And then we've been doing some plastic paint on other sections. We painted all these stained all these beams um, we redid the shade on the side terrace yeah we Out redid our gate yes. which was originally a bed frame it still is a bed frame but over the years it got really tatty so we fixed all that up and it looks like a proper gate now not a bed frame at all you wouldn't even think that was a bed frame very professional a cut it just, in half bed frame. it was slats so the slats sort of disintegrated and split into the different layers we ripped those out and then got some good good Thick planks of wood left over from the build, stain those, put them on, put some yeah. nice fresh netting on. So it was nice to have our terraces back mm. because for the whole entire build, the front of the house, basically, we just had like a little workbench out there and some, you know, the tools and, and bits of wood. So it wasn't a terrace at all. And obviously the whole house was actually full of tools and it, it just was a complete mm. kind of mess downstairs during the whole build, wasn't yeah. it? So it's just nice to get everything back to normal now we're done. It's just nice to have all our terraces back, isn't it? Like yeah. Front yeah. terrace, the dogs like going out there, Charlie especially. Now we can look out onto the street and see what's going on. Yeah. And yeah, it's just nice. It's isn't just it? nice. And um, Charlie, by the way, is doing fine today. Um, we still wanted to just kind of hang around the house today and get on with these mm. jobs because it's quite a warm day and he's not back 100% to himself. I mean, yesterday when we picked him up, he was pretty dopey as he would be after being put under. He had two teeth out mm. and then a complete clean. So it's all nice and fresh in there. But he was a little bit sore. Um, and he was definitely, um, yeah, just out of it really for the whole day. He's better this time, but for a lot of the days, just lying there crying. He's Howling. not moving. He didn't walk or get up or walk around. So for you're hours. really quite worried about me. I mean, the vet says it's completely fine, completely mm. normal, and and things like that. So by the time it got to last night, he finally had a little meal, and we went for a, a walk around the village. Mm. And then even today, he's still a bit sort of out of it, but he's eaten now, and his teeth are all fine. So he's he's fine but we don't want to like you know pressure him to go out or do anything so we're just getting on with these jobs that we can do around the house really jobs so. in the house and i've prepped some wood to fix the little cupboards the little latches yeah and um, a spice rack i'm working on so. oh exciting never a dull moment never a dull moment always something to do and we're still i have messaged the company again today to find out if they know when the project's going to be ready i keep pressuring them i'm sure they're going to tell me to just pee off and wait it's we done when it's done it we done when it's done but you know what i mean i just want to kind of know i want to know is it going to be this week you know or is it going to be next week so our new shade is getting a good test today because it's pretty gusty and it's really nice actually because it's like 29 degrees today and if it was 29 degrees normally up here without this you can't really be up here it's just too hot because we're we're obviously south facing so you get sort of full sun all day on the roof terrace and this time of year anything later than about 10 a.m it's just too hot because we've got the terracotta tiles as well you can't walk on it but now we've got this up this section of the terrace is totally fine. I mean, if you go and walk over there to have a proper look at the view without your, without your flip-flops on or whatnot, you're gonna get hot feet. But um, but yeah, quite happy. And so far it's, it's, it's holding out pretty well against the gusts. And it's only one of these like sort of cheap ones. So quite happy with that. This is another little job. These chairs we picked up 
from a pub we used to work in years ago, years ago. And they're, I think they're like oak. They're quite heavy. They're quite solid. Yet yeah, about, I think we got them when we first got the house, maybe 12 mm. years ago. And uh, we're kind of reluctant. We don't want to get rid of them because we have been like downsizing and getting rid of certain things in the house as well as decorating and things like that. But I said, well, I don't want to get rid of these because they're kind of almost antique. So we are going to keep them. I mean, even if we keep them outside, but we are going to sort of, um, what's the word? Stain, treat um, them, re, um, um, bring back to life. Bring back to life. <laughs> yeah, what was it? Up, um, upcycle? No, you know what I mean. Um, yeah, so this one just needs fixing. We need to put some glue in there, some wood glue, and then tie it down. And then Nick's going to do a nice little um, stain on them, I think. It's going to sand them down yeah. and then stain them so it'll bring out all the grain because they're very, very comfortable chairs, aren't they? They're very cool as well. Mm. The curved arms and the little backrest. Yeah. Very cool. So yeah, that's a little project to, to get done while we're waiting for. Of course. I mean, look, if the paperwork comes and we, you know, if it comes, they say, oh, it's ready. The project's ready this afternoon, for example, and then we can go and get the appointment for the inspection and everything. We'll just drop everything, stop doing what we're doing, and this sort of jobs can wait until, you know, we're, when we're back here. Yes, because once the van's ready, that's it. We're going off on big adventures, so we want to leave the house. It's a good house. You can just lock up and leave. Yeah. And we've got a friend who keeps an eye on it and stuff. We've got cameras everywhere. So when we get back from a big adventure, it's all... As we left it type hopefully. thing. Hopefully. And nice to arrive home to. Mm. Yeah. And you know, even though we love being out on adventures and travelling in the van and things like that, it's always so nice to be at home and we've really like enjoyed even though it's been hard work with the van build and stuff we have really enjoyed spending time in the house and people do ask oh would you ever sell your house and you know live in the van full time or rent your house out when you're away no we don't really want to because we like coming back here and doing our gardening and spending time in our house and Having a house, it is nice. And we're very grateful of this little oasis that we call home down here in Andalusia. And I mean, we don't have a mortgage on this house. Um, so that's very helpful too. And I think we're just quite grateful of having this mm. little home. It's nice to come back and kind of reset after a big trip, come back and rejuvenate, get your mojo back and then go we off We certainly travel have again. done that, haven't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite funny though, because yeah, over the years we've sort of downsized not much, but we've changed the plants. So we've just got yuccas and uh, money plants now because they don't need so much care. Um, but all these have come from like a handful of plants. Like the money plants Two probably. are so good. You just cut it back, plant it in some soil and it grows up again. And then they grow crazy So over I here. think we only actually had one money plant to begin mm. with. And now we've probably got like 20 or 25 pots. And it's the same with the yucca. We bought one yucca plant for 10 euros and that was about 10 years ago again mm. probably when we first bought the house and it was the size of maybe that one there would you say literally so just one little 10 euro yucca plant and from that now we have massive one outside on the, the, the front terrace we've got all of these all of the ones on the roof basically that 10 euro yucca plant grew into a tree it's huge we have to keep changing the pot changing the pot and we're like oh we can't change it anymore very reluctant to cut it back and then cut it back and then now the one out the front's just gone nuts isn't yeah. it yeah so and then we've she... planted all of them as you can see and they've all turned into huge um yucca trees so there you go if we ever stop being youtubers we could become yucca farmers <laughs> Do you think this thing's even going to work? Look at the state of that. Let's find out. Definitely not going to work. Because the little coins just come out there. <laughs> <laughs> you doing this, Dan? You stealing my job? No, that's swap.
obviously he's not perfect. He survived another jet wash, <laughs> just. <laughs> Good morning. Minnie's clean, so it's time to get on with jobs on this van. And um, yeah, plenty to get on with. But check out these little um, thingies that Nick's created, sanded down, and they are going to go here. Then we drill a hole in the middle. Like so. And then we get a little screw, we put it in there. I think you can probably guess what's going to happen next. Can you guess? We screw! Very simple, rustic, not fiddly really at all. And sort of goes with the rest of the van. There, and then when we drive, we turn and keep our cupboards closed. And here's some we prepared earlier. A bit stiff at the moment, but that's fine. No. Yeah, there we go. Ah. Simple but effective and much less fiddly than those little jewellery box things that we first came up with. And I get to use up a tiny bit more wood. <laughs> that's the main <laughs> thing, let's face it. You wouldn't call this van building, would you, darling? Because the van build's over, isn't it? We told them it was over. No, this is just finishing touches. Yeah, finishing touches. Adding little shelves and things. So this was a bit of a mission because you can't get the drill in there to drill it where you want it kind of thing. So I had to like hand drill. And now these are the bolts. That's on. And we're gonna put the other side, yeah. The bolts through there. Bolts, nuts. Which is the bolt and which is the nut? The nut, nuts, isn't the it? bit that goes onto yeah. the bolt. Right, and then we're gonna put the nuts the other side. So it's, so it's um, bolted rather than screwed. Added another little thing down here. Now, is that going to stick there with that adhesive or do we have to drill? What do you think? I mean, it feels quite solid. Oh, we have our new um, gas stove. This is an inside stove. So most of the kind of like single portable stoves you get are like for outside, like camping ones. Obviously you can take it outside as well, but it's like, you know, the blue flame rather than... It's safe to use inside the van, but I did think it was going to be a little bit smaller. Um, I mean, it's really cool. It looks really nice. And you do want something nice. And um, we've got loads of surface space, so it's fine. You know what I mean? And like this, you can still put a chopping board there and use this section. And we can still put our thing there for doing the dishes. So I think it will be fine there. And it's not too close to the window and things like that. So I'm happy, even though it's bigger than what we thought. Messy in here, isn't it? Real messy. Oh, that's all right. Um, but it is hot. Again, it's going to be 33 degrees. We've just been getting on with these little jobs and everything just takes so long. Like we've been down here for hours already and all we've done is put a few things up on the wall. But it's that decision making, isn't it? That's nice. We've got so many little curtains, sarongs, materials in the house. Two-sided, so it's dark on that side. So when you look in through the windows, it looks darker and then this makes it lighter here. But that makes, it's only thin material, but it makes such a difference with the heat. Quite nice, nice and cosy. And that's one reason why, um, you know, the whole not having swivel seats, obviously the main reason is so we can use and access both doors and we can have this layout. Um, but this is quite nice when you put in a curtain across there. It's like you're not in a van anymore. Where's the front seats? Where's the windscreen? It's like you're in a little cabin. It's lovely. So little Charlie is all back to normal today. Had plenty of rest yesterday and he's absolutely fine. And he's actually looking like a little puppy inside his mouth. All his teeth are all like pearly white again, apart from the fact that he's got like some missing here and some missing there. But yeah, he's all back to normal. And he's very sensible because he stays under the van, whether we're in little old Vinster or, or the big van, he stays under there and he's cool and he's not panting unlike this one. Diz, what are you looking at? Always on the lookout, chief of security and all that. 
Anyway, folks, we are going to um, head off now. We are going to escape the heat. Uh, see, the thing is, we really, 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 really need to get this van on the road. We need to get oh the paperwork boy, shut done. Up. We need to get the paperwork <laughs> done because we can't even use the van now because the Itiuve has run out. So until we get our project and until we get this inspection done, we can't, you know, it's, we're just stuck. We're just in limbo. But this is like, this week is the end of the two weeks. And he did originally say two weeks. Mm. So hopefully we're going to hear. So hopefully by next week's vlog, I'm sick of saying this, but hopefully by next week's Don't vlog, believe we her. Don't believe should... a word she says. <laughs> <laughs> we should have some good news. I'm pretty sure I said that in last week's vlog. We, and, we plan to be on the road for our birthdays. Those are at the April. end of April. Yeah. So, but there yeah, you go. That's life. Done. Everything takes longer than you think. And if the paperwork's not done this week, or we don't have, or we haven't heard anything, we're we're out of it. We're getting a little old Vinster, and we are going. And th we're just going to leave this van. That's it. I've had enough. No more it. waiting. So come back next week and find out whether that's the case. And until then, I hope you all have a lovely weekend. And Stick a good... with us, guys. Things will improve. We will be going on epic adventures just as soon as this van is finished. I know, well, yeah. With the we, we're very grateful for you guys being so patient with us and um, continuing to, you know, tune in and watch the videos every week, even though they've not been amazing. I think they're um, still quite entertaining, to be honest. Well, I hope so. All right. Uh, <laughs> And let us know how um, how you're doing. Just let us know how you're doing in the comments section. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please, we're absolutely desperate. Not joking. Free to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification yeah, bell. Yeah, then if you hit that little bell, you won't miss the day we depart on the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> you won't be, you know, you won't, oh God, they're away, they're away, I didn't even realise. Hit that notification bell, you'll be notified. Notified. All right, guys, thanks, and we'll see you next Thursday. Take care, guys, see you next week. In fact, one person was so angry with how we've ruined a perfectly good van that she unsubscribed permanently and <laughs> voiced it in a message. She was really, really cross with us because how we've designed the van. Time for little doggies who are panting like a real dog to go, isn't it?